What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali. Um, basically, it's that time of the season. All of my car parts are starting to come in. Um, lots of people are asking me what's coming next. When's the next video coming? Uh, so basically, I'm going to just do a little update vlog video. Just to let you guys know what I have coming in the summer. Um, I did a video like this last year. Kind of a little teaser. So this will be this year's. Uh, so... We'll start off, we've got a couple goodies here, as you can see, we'll, I'm just going to start off in, uh, I guess, uh, you know, the order that I got everything in. Uh, a few of these things, my dress up kit, you might have no noticed from last year, for those of you who've been subscribed for that long and watching. Uh, didn't get a chance to put it on, my engine was just dirty, dirty, I didn't even pop the hood uh, all year. I think I popped it one time and I was really surprised that people were looking at my car, but I had to plasti dip the engine cover, so, uh, yeah. Go plasti dip. Uh, but basically, um, we'll start off with the oil catch can. Uh, this is just an eBay. Um, I think I paid like 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, basically, when I did my NWP uh, block off plate, my throttle body spacer last year, I noticed that there was a little bit of oil um, around the gaskets that, you know, I guess there's a, a re oil recirculation. For whatever reason that goes into the back of the intake um i think it's like one of these hoses or uh, on the elbow here and um i mean i think it's one of the ones sorry on the upper intake manifold anyways oil's getting into there we don't want that oil catch can we're going to show you guys how to install that once the weather gets a little nicer uh next up um i only have two-thirds of what i need here uh, lower intake manifold and the manifold elbow. I'm waiting on an upper intake manifold. I'm going to see if I can get one for cheap locally here. And um, basically what I'm going to do is I was looking online. A lot of guys do the manifold guts. Uh, the, I've seen a few guys now. They'll take out this little ridge here. They'll weld the plate so it's just one solid elbow. Upper intake manifold, you take out all the shelves. So I'm going to try to get something going with that. Um, if, not, if not, I'll just get the can't right, get right treatment. Uh, for those of you who are in the Ultima game and the Maxima game, you know all about him. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if I, if I don't have the right tools, I'll just send it away and forget about it. So we're waiting on the next part for that. But uh, eventually I'm going to do the manifold gut. Um... But what's going on before the intake manifold will be this gems right here. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. See that? So basically, um, I got my Y pipe in, uh, racing line Y pipe, and uh, the racing line pre cats came in. Um, well, this came in last week, this came in uh, about a day or two ago. Um, so basically, I'm going to explain why i went this route i drive an automatic altima and to find bolt-on headers for an auto is automatic is literally impossible so um i had a couple options i know that the, the manual headers will fit you just got to i think grind down one of these flanges take off the heat shield of your starter and uh there's a little bit of modification i think i think you have to extend one of these Anyways, I didn't want to have to do none of that. I wanted it to be able to bolt right in. I'm hoping to do this myself. If these bolts, uh, I know I'll be able to do the Y pipe. The pre cats, I'm going to have to look, see where they are. Uh, hoping to get this done. If not, I'm for sure put the Y pipe on myself, get the pre cats done with the exhaust shop. So that'll probably take me, you know, if I'm lucky, a day, maybe a weekend, whereas it'll just take them a few hours because they know what's going on. So, anyways, that's one reason that I went this route. Another reason is that uh, missions and stuff like that. You know what I mean? When you take out all the cats, you start throwing codes. Um, and once you go for missions, apparently things have changed here in Canada. Um, they don't do like a, a, a drive test where they, they measure the exhaust anymore. Apparently they just plug a computer in, read your stuff, and if there's codes or anything comes up, then you fail. So I'm, I don't know how true that is. I've just been hearing things, you know what I mean? So I decided to just go with this setup because there's no check engine lights. Uh, you still have two cats right here, even though they're high flow. Um, so that's why I wanted to go with this. It was a little expensive. It was a thousand bucks shipped for both of these. Um, whereas you can get headers for like 350 shipped to your door. Um, you know, OBX, eBay headers. I was like, you know what? I'll spend a little bit of money now. Um, 
so I don't have to spend money in the future. And another reason, which is also a big reason, is I've been doing a lot of research and there's not a lot of guys that have this set up. I think there's one code red out there that has this with a mossy um, axle back. So I'll, I'll be one of few Altimas running this setup, which is another reason I wanted to get this because I want to see how it sounds and I want it to be like a unique and you know I did make a video why I didn't spend 600 plus dollars on an exhaust system well I guess I'm gonna have to make a new video now why I spent 600 plus dollars on an exhaust system so stay tuned for that stay tuned for the installs as you can see we got the lip um, I already sold a couple of those so um, this will be my last one. Once I sell this, I don't think I'm going to be making any more. It's, uh, unless it's for close friends. Because to be honest, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and that's my boy's bumper. Um, that's not mine. But I thought I'd give you guys a little look at that. Uh, VIS, I think, is what they call that. The bumper. So, uh, that'll be going on his car soon. And, uh, yeah, we got a few other things. I think there's a water pump there. What's this? Oh, uh, fog. That's an empty box. Don't need that. So, uh, a few other parts. Um, fog lights for my winter bumper, which is cool because this winter I didn't have fog lights and it kind of sucked because I like the yellow fogs. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm just going to end this vlog now because we're running on about six and a half minutes and I pretty much covered everything. So, um, that's what's going on. Uh, I hit up the track recently. I went and drove a Lamborghini. That footage is on my YouTube channel. Um, also, while I was there, I got a lot of footage of just some quarter mile runs between. There's a lot of cars there like Mustangs and BMWs and Subarus, Civics. So I got lots of good footage coming your way. Um, stay tuned for that. As always, don't forget to like, comment. It helps me out a lot, um, gets my channel noticed, um, and it, you know, inspires me to make more videos for you guys. Also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I got, like, pretty well, not, I wouldn't say daily, but weekly videos. I try to upload as much as I can, um, just to keep the content flowing and keep people interested. Uh, so with that being said, we're just going to end this one. Um, there's my dusty engine cover i didn't put it on last year because like i said i just i just didn't um i didn't clean my engine it was actually pretty disgraceful so uh hopefully this year we can get it nice and clean and that's it enough rambling on it's your boy denali um do all that shit i told you and uh we'll see you next time